Hello, my name is Thomas. And I'm Christine. And welcome to your daily fast devotional. We're so proud of you for starting the year off in a 21-day fast. For our family, we start every year with the 21-day fast. And this fast has been so beneficial to our family where we get vision, direction, and just purpose for the rest of the year. You know, in the fast, the intention is to seek God. You know, we really take the time to seek God, to pray, to seek His face, and to get our word for the year. So it definitely has changed the direction of our lives every year when we get His vision for our lives so that we can carry it out. So our portion of scripture that we're studying with you today is Matthew chapter 5, verse 31 through 37. I'll start at verse 31. You have heard the law that says, a man can divorce his wife by merely giving her a written notice of divorce. But I say that a man who divorces his wife, unless she has been unfaithful, causes her to commit adultery. And anyone who marries a divorced woman also commits adultery. Verse 33. You have also heard that our ancestors were told, you must not break your vows, you must carry out the vows you made to the Lord. But I say, do not make any vows. Do not say by heaven, because heaven is God's throne. And do not say by earth, because earth is his footstool. And do not say by Jerusalem, for Jerusalem is the city of the great king. Do not even say by my head, for you can't turn one hair white or black. Just say a simple, yes, I will, or no, I won't. Anything beyond this is from the evil one. Okay, so this portion of scripture that we're studying today is really two parts. The first part is Jesus teaching about divorce. In this portion of scripture, Jesus is setting a higher standard. See, the people of that day and age, their hearts had grown hard. Um, actually, Jesus further on in the gospel says in Matthew verse nine, chapter 19, verse eight, he says, Moses permitted divorce only as a concession to your hard hearts, but it was not what God had originally intended. So in this portion of scripture, verse 31 and 32, um, Jesus is addressing their wrong motives. He's re-emphasizing that divorce should only happen in, the cases of, in cases of sexual morality. Marriage is a sacred covenant. Jesus is restoring God's original plan for marriage, which is, it's a sacred covenant and it's a lifelong commitment. Jesus right now is challenging the norms and the culture of this time. That sounds familiar, right? Even now we're dealing with that in our culture. Jesus is revealing God's divine intention for marriage to be a sacred union that mirrors the unbreakable bond between Christ and the church. The scripture of Matthew 33 to 37 is teaching about vows. And this scripture has really changed my life. I remember a long time ago on my walk, God told me, and it says in, in this verse, it says, you must not break your vows, you must carry out the vows you make to the Lord. And he said, Thomas, I need your yeses to be yeses and your noes, no. And just like this 21 day fast, when we said yes to it, it's hard, but to keep our word to God, it will grow you spiritually. There was a time in my walk where I would say yes to everything. Oh, can you come? Yes. Uh, can you do this? Yes. But I had every intention not to do it. And God told me that was deception. Mm -hmm. And I was giving false hope to people. I know it's difficult. I know it's challenging, but doing your best to keep that initial yes will grow you in character in discipline and it'll grow you spiritually. And just like it blessed me on being a person of my word, it grew me spiritually and it really allowed me to be disciplined with my words. We really hope that you receive something profound out of today's Devotion Bible Study. And we pray that you expect and receive amazing breakthroughs from this 21-day fast. Thank you so much for joining us today. God bless you.